Now we've tried a lot of different carbon sources when it comes to making antique muzzle loading propellant. But one that I get requests for often is either straw, grass clippings, or hay, something of the like. And so we figured we'd give it a try using hay. Now this was just out of a hay bale that my mom had, and I grabbed a handful of it and we charred it up and gave it a try. This is just a hay bale that she buys at the feed store. So as far as what specific kind of hay or where it comes from, I have no idea. A lot of folks will tell you that the softer the wood, the lower the density of your charcoal, the better your powder is going to perform. And I've said before that that's generally true. But we found that something that is generally true isn't always true. And I think this demonstrates that, and I'll show you in a minute. Now we were hopeful that this would work out pretty well because after we charred it up, we found that it was very, as we usually describe it, light and fluffy, meaning that it has a very low density. Like uh, the balsa charcoal, it takes a large amount of volume to equal a small amount of weight, meaning the density is very low. And the hay was a lot like that. So we were hopeful that at least it would perform decent. Now, we made two batches. Now, typically I wouldn't do it like this, but I think there's a lesson in here that is something I'm usually preaching, and a lot of folks don't take it seriously. And so I think this illustrates my point. So we made two batches. One batch we made in our usual mill that has the lifter blocks shown in here. Using brass media, we use two different sizes. It's half inch and three eighths is what it works out to. But we milled it for twice as long. All of our powders are usually, not usually, they are milled for 24 hours. But this we milled for twice as long. We milled it for 48 hours. As I often say, you really can't mill your powder too long. The other batch is made in a smaller mill with no lifter blocks, which we've used before. But we didn't use the brass media, we used ceramic media, and we milled it for 24 hours. So we have two different batches, one in our usual mill, milled for 48 hours, the other for 24 hours using ceramic media. So here's how it went. Okay, so this is our hay bale black powder. This stuff is milled for 24 hours using the ceramic media. Don't give me that shit. Wow. 12.58. What? Wow, I... <laughs> what? Wow. What a bummer. Shot number two with the hay bale powder. Okay, I'll nap my flint after this, I swear. 12.58 again. One more. All right. Okay. New flint. Shot number two with the hay bale powder. What? What? Preposterous, I say. This isn't, th th I don't know if I've ever seen you have this much trouble. I don't know if I have either. You even put a new flint in there. Well, that didn't help with that, did it? Well. All right, shot number two, take three. Oh my God. Oh, bro. What the literal We got a problem. We got a problem. Did I not? And did I not load it? Did I not put powder in there or something? Is it not loaded at all? Why don't you put the ramrod down and find out? 
No, it's most it definitely. It is definitely it's loaded. Definitely and it's loaded. got powder. Huh? And it's got powder. Otherwise, it wouldn't. It wouldn't yeah, it wouldn't go it that would go, far. Yeah, it would go down further. Go off, you junk. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. What does it mean when the pick doesn't even do any good? Uh, bad stuff, bro. Bad, bad stuff. All right, hang on. I'll try and pour some into the actual touch hole. Yeah, and then I'm going to try and stuff it in there. Oh, there you go. Now you're thinking. Oh, I'm thinking. Thinking where... <laughs> I've never I, experienced this with this rifle. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I've experienced it on stuff that didn't have any powder in it. Yeah. Holy cow. Or we're off to a bad start. start. Yeah. Oh, man. There we go. Okay, at least. 197. Wow. <laughs> Okay, let's let's try 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 again, bro. What a what a fucking catastrophe! <laughs> what the hell was that all about? I don't know. I've never had that happen before. And that hung too. Oh yeah, well I would expect it to. The touch hole's all stuffed full of powder. Yeah. go off this time i i sure hope so well, i would like to get at least a few more numbers on it i mean uh, yeah three is is good you know shot number three 1341 okay wow that's a let's do one more that seems like a wide spread yeah shot number three or four. I think it's four. Technically. I don't know how many shots it is, actually. Uh, I don't know. I lost count when we started having fouling problems. Oh, oh man. It's bizarre to me that this stuff can be pretty decently clean. I mean, I'm on six or seven. I'm still loading. And yet the touch hole continues to get fouled. I don't like it. Oh. Well, I think it's pretty obvious that uh, this stuff doesn't cut it. It sucks. This stuff sucks. Pocket. Oh, okay. Mm. I I don't know why, but I've never ever had this with any homemade powder. I know. This particular problem. Stuff the touch hole full of fucking powder. I'm going to have to. That's what I did last time. Yeah. How strange. That is awful. Hung like a SOB. 1341. That might have been a repeat. Um. That might have been a duplicate. I wish I could get one more number off of it. Uh, so let, let, me, let me try one more, Derek. Just let me try right. one more. All right. Go for it. Uh, I would I would stuff powder into the touch hole on the first one. I got my pick stuck in there. Okay. Let's see if that helps. God, it might just be the hay. It might just be the ch straw mix for crappy car uh, charcoal. I don't know, man. Whatever it is, it's not happy about it. Yeah. Neither am I. Yeah, whatever it is, whether it's the media or the... Okay. All right. 
1374. Okay. Okay, well, that um that sucked. That was atrocious. <laughs> Okay, so here is our other batch of hay bale powder. This stuff was milled for 48 hours in our usual mill using brass media. Fourteen sixty-four. Okay. It's not as junk. No, it's not as junk. But it's still a good 350 feet slower than the best stuff we've made. Right. But. But it fired. It went off. It didn't hang. It didn't hang. There wasn't just some. And it's already 100 feet per second faster than the other stuff. Correct. All right, shot number two with the hay bale long mill powder. Fourteen fifty three. Okay, so mid fourteens. Oh well. Well, I guess when it when it comes to homemade powder, you know, mid fourteens isn't that bad. It's only a little slower than Go X. 200 feet well oh yeah you're right average is like what 1660 yeah mid 16 all right shot number three with the long mill hay bale powder 1427 that's gonna average out to mid 14 and we'll put one more on it all right but see how this stuff is going easy yeah this stuff it, this stuff is firing fine it's loading easy it's consistent it might be it might be weak, but it's consistent. It's going off. Yeah, it's working just fine. Shot number four with the long mill hay bale. Fourteen forty-two. Okay. Probably average out. This stuff looks like Go X. Yeah. It's it's uh certainly not as powerful as Go X, but it sure looks like Go X as far as the fouling goes. Yeah, it does. I've certainly uh certainly had worse. The fouling on the other stuff, the uh 24 hour stuff with uh ceramic, that was much, much worse. But we had seven shots through it. True. All right. Now, I want to do one more, okay? All right. I want to up it to, uh, let's do 70 okay. and see what we get. Why don't you do a solid 50% boost, go 75. We'll go 75, okay. All right. So we have our brass media 48-hour hay bale powder. And this is charged with 75 grains, so that's a 50% increase. Then we'll see if we get a number off of it. Sixteen thirty one. Wow. Dang. Huh. All right. Hundred percent increase. We'll go a hundred grains. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Hundred grains. You dirty, rotten scoundrel! <laughs> Not this again. Oh no. Oh, there's a twig in there. Yeah, a bunch of bunch of boogers in there. Let me try that again. Yeah. Eighteen fifteen. Okay, just barely made it. So you have to double your charge. Hey, hey bales that, make that, shit okay, carbon. Okay, that that didn't work out like I uh, like I expected at all. I really thought that would work well. I know. 
I mean, and I don't mean like, you know, oh, the coffee grounds or, you know, used toilet paper. Like, I honestly thought that would... I figured that'd be on par with Go-X. I thought that would probably do like Go-X. Yeah. Well, okay, well, that's pretty it's... rough. But the fouling on this stuff is very soft. Well, that, that makes sense do you see with the, the... Do you see the chunkies right there? All right, let me zoom in. Bring her a little closer. That's that's really not oh. that's really not great. Yeah, that is chunky. But the fouling seems to be soft. Well, that's good. But like balsa. Yeah, but I mean that's that's way dirty. I mean, look, it's got big old big old flakes. Big old flakes. That's uh. Well, we did do okay. That that was not. We did do uh, a couple shots with fifty that, and then a hundred. I'm pretty sure. Didn't, that, well, that, we did. That was not. That, that 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 did not rock yeah that was not cute that was not cute okay so how did we do well the 24-hour batch was uh, pretty much a catastrophe it averaged 1324 with a max spread of either 33 or 116 depending on if you want to count that first low shot of 1258 and delivers 545 foot pounds of energy pretty lame also you saw i had problems with it having flashes in the pan it would not set off that main charge i was having to use my vent pick and even that wasn't working too well and the thing i thought was odd is typically if you have bad black powder very dirty black powder that can happen but when that does happen you'll have trouble loading it repeatedly you'll be hammering on it you'll have to swab the barrel and the fouling was very soft and manageable, but it would clog the touch hole repeatedly. So that was kind of strange. The 48 hour stuff, even though it's really, really weak, it's uh, 350 feet per second slower than Swiss or Cottonelle would be on average, still performed at least consistently. It averaged 1446 with a nice tight spread of 37 and delivered 650 foot pounds of energy. Again, very weak, but consistent. We did up the charge to 75 grains and got 1631. And then we doubled the charge at 100 grains and got 1815. I would like to remind everybody to get that speed of 1815 with the Cottonelle or Swiss or even Balsa. We could use a standard 50 grain charge that we use for all of the other tests. So this stuff is really weak, but at least it's consistent where the 24 hour stuff doesn't appear to be that consistent and seems to have fouling problems. Now, if I had to take a guess, it probably is because of the media we used in that batch. That was ceramic media, which we haven't used in a long time. The reason why we went away from ceramic and went to brass is we found that in order to get the same velocities and cleanliness, we'd have to double the mill time. So I guess in hindsight, what we should have done is went 48 hours with that batch and 24 hours with the standard brass media deal. But either way, I think what this shows is it's important to have a mill that's running efficiently. And if you are going to change something, you're going to change your media, you're going to change your mill, you better check your stuff because you might get something strange, like you'll lose 120 feet per second. All of a sudden, it'll be dirtier. You really can't mill your powder too long. Now, I get people that leave me snappy comments about saying things. Well, one guy put it something like this. You mix your powder for 24 hours because you say it's better. If I mix my pancake bat batter longer, will my pancakes taste better? <laughs> and uh, I haven't done that test, but for all I know, it's possible. But I don't know... Uh, Really, as far as making pancakes go, is the incorporation of the ingredients that much more important? Because I know it's important when it comes to making sporting grade black powder. I don't know about making pancakes. I specialize in eating pancakes, not making them. So overall, the takeaway is hay makes really lousy black powder. Important lesson when it comes to all of this is have an efficient mill and make sure you're milling it long enough. Because the difference in a lousy mill and lousy media can be a hundred and something feet per second. And we've seen this when it comes to better black powder like, uh, you know, willow or eastern red cedar. A lot of times you can get closer to Swiss velocity if you just mill it longer. 
So as usual, folks, if you thought this video didn't suck, do me a favor and hit the like button. Consider subscribing. And if you did think it sucked, go make your own damn video.